The sign says it all. Pray for Ira Ann. But the people here aren't the only ones praying. People from all over West Texas are coming here today to show their support on this first day back in school. It's Kiara Hodges first time back on campus. She says these are her first steps of healing. Just, I need to be with all my friends. It'll make me feel a lot better when I see everybody. But if you knew exactly what she's been through the past few days. You are sad for Sora. <laughs> You'd know just how remarkable this moment back at school is. I'm so glad you're home and that you're okay. I can remember the driver hitting the brakes and just everyone going forward, but then everything just went black. They found me at the back of the bus, but my seat was in the front, and no one could tell me why I ended up in the back. But they said it was because I was trying to get out of the bus, and then I just collapsed. And I remember waking up in the hospital with bunch of nurses over me rubbing my chest trying to wake me up. A fractured skull and an arm sling are the visible reminders of what happened Friday. Today a team of counselors are on hand to help aid the wounds that cannot be seen. The, the faster we can get the, the kids to grieve if they need to, the, the better this is going to be. Superintendent Allen says grief is heavy and it's hard. This is not a normal you know, there's no template for this. Take one look at the parking lot. You see they are not dealing with it alone. Literally, the outpour of, of emotion uh, to help us has, has been nothing that, that I've never seen anything like it. As the students and staff in Ira Ann began to work through this tragedy, Superintendent Allen says, keep this in mind. Remember where you're from and who loves you and will be okay. Just, it feels good to know that all these people are there for us, no matter the occasion. Bravely facing the coming days together, Ira Ann Strong. Tatum Gwynn, CBS 7 News.